to go oh good morning guys so it's 5:30 in morning and we are like reach wayanad and uh, we are searching for a noto to like take us to sultan batheri you can buy lottery tickets in the morning 5:30 in wayanad we are presently at kolpeta and we are trying to board a bus number 70 to reach sultan batheri there are autos but we are trying to be locals here Hopefully you cannot see anything, but we have taken our auto. It's 6:20 and it's still dark, but we have reached our resort, the Wainadia Resort Hotel. We are not allowed to go inside to the reception counter to like discuss. We have come early. It's like five hours early from our check-in time, but let's try to convince them. Maybe we have to pay some premium charges. So let's see. It's almost the sun is about to come out Welcome to Wayanad guys. So guys, let's talk about where we are and like where we'll be going today. So we are now in Kerala and at the place Wayanad. So Wayanad is about 312 kilometers away from Bengaluru and we reached there in the morning 5:30 and we'll be like uh traveling around for 3 days. We're staying at this Wayanadia resort which is like very cheap. So we paid 1500 bucks for like three of us. and we have an awesome room as you can see in the behind you can get a dormitory if you want to like not sell out much money uh, for like 250 rupees so yeah we had our breakfast and we'll be heading to the edical caves which opens at 9 we're going to the top floor if it's open nice i think they are still building this area But we'll try to reach the top. Hey, come, guys! Yeah, it's closed, you know. It's closed. Maybe. Whoa! This is the backyard of the hotel. So we have reached the Edical Caves. So we have to walk for like 30 minutes from here because there is no entry. See the stone carvings of this church. A church made out of stones. It's just. by the entrance of edical caves so after reaching the entrance point you have to like track for 1 km up uh, where we'll find that church and then you can reach the top of the caves So it's allowed from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and you can access the caves by 3:50, which is the last time to enter there. <laughs> and yeah, let's walk up. <laughs> There is some medical hermitage, but you are not allowed to like go inside. So let's continue. Oh yeah. Not the bulls are but you can try some archery in the way to edical caves. <laughs> For how much sir? 10 rupees 10 rupees 3 shots. 
Okay, you get to shoot three shots okay. in like 10 rupees and if you hit the bullseye, you'll be awarded with a fruity. So fruity is a drink for the guys who don't know fruity. <laughs> Two goes. Oh. Okay, so we have started our track to the top of the caves. So more 200 meters to climb these stairs. See the path becomes more steeper. So about the Edical Caves, it is famous for the pictorial paintings like from the 6000 BC. And it is said to be the, like the only place to have those Stone Age paintings in India. And edical means like, the word means two stones in between. There are two chambers actually in edical caves, ranging from different height. Heading inside the caves. Oh, this is beautiful guys. Look at, they are just rocks standing here. All sweaty, but I uh, have to climb this. We have to climb more stairs. Yeah. See those stairs going down, beautiful design, and the mountains here. Entering the other part of the caves. Whoa, whoa. And they estimate batteries and all. Yes, sir. This is the main cave here, Radical Caves. Yes. Yeah. Radical is the Mariana word. Radical means in between stone. Can you see? Yes. And this cave from which you have taken 30,000 years back. Oh, my. And after people lived here, they didn't see photos. People lived here. At that time also people are just doing some work. See now, this is the main figure in Kelman, tribal man. Can you see? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So they address hands, body. Uh -huh. So this is the front side, other one is the back side. Okay. Address hands, body. Uh -huh. One lady here. Uh -huh. One baby. Okay. See, and above that baby you can see the wild animal, one dog. Uh -huh. So they had a community here, yes. like a village here. Yes. But I don't know, that is sun worship. Ah. My brother son, you can see one peacock, look like a small peacock here. Hmm. One human face, two eyes, nose and lips. Okay. Elephant, front leg, back leg, tail, body, trunk, tusk, his face. Elephants, they yes. had a concept oh, of elephant. Yeah. But this portion was done by 6,000 years back, people are just using only the geometry for this. In triangles, square, circles, stones. Yeah. And so many carvings in that shape, but also just now we don't have any come here. Can you see here, here's one, one, maybe a couple dancing. This is the male figure and female figure. Was dance like this. Couple dancing. But this probably is maybe 6,000 years ago. Six. After here, you can see one lady standing on a push cart here. Mm. But this person also maximum 2,500 years ago. And after him, people will get yeah, so something this written. From a premium tracker, but this person also makes him 2,500 years. Oh. Is this Malayali? No, this is Sanskrit. Tamil Sans Brahmi. Tamil Brahmi. Yes. Sanskrit. Brahmi is a script. I, I understand Sanskrit. What is written, sir? It means Valpoli Tata Kali Barko Mali Barna Kaja Nandu Chati. That is Sanskrit. It okay. means a man who killed a lot of tigers. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. That was the king. That was the king. Yes, a man who killed a lot of tigers. The name called Nandu lived here. Okay. Because that time people are just using the bow and arrow. Ah. And that time is when man who killed the animals, the oh. man hero man. That's why while climbing up we could see a lot of archery yes. shops. Yes. That has been a tradition Maybe here? No, no. Yeah. Also people are just doing something here. After one transcript is Prager is there. Ah. That means uh, Sri Vishnu Varma, that king lived here. Actually different times different groups of people lived here because this is a good shelter. This is not a cave. And yes. this cave discovered by 1894 British man. The name was Frederick Fawcett. Frederick Fawcett. Now we have 4,000 feet above sea level now. 4,000 feet. Yeah, this is the one of the oldest carvings in the world. 4,000 feet is how many meters? 1,300 meters. 1,300 meters. This type of carvings you can see in France. Alaska. 
Nice. There is no fire mention. I could not see any fire. No, fire no is fire that time. And all the pay, carvings are no no color. All no color, only carvings. Colors you can see so many are in the here. Colors got eroded even if they were. No, in in Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, I don't know. I read that. You can see so many color paintings are here, but not this type of carvings. Very rare to see. Uh, can I ask you an honest question? How will you make sure that these carvings are those many those many years old? Six thousand years. Can I the carbon dating? Or no? Carbon dating. Okay. Carbon dating. Of the rocks and the rocks here, yeah, not to get out to city because it's just to turn 4000 2000 BG. Hmm. It's not the current particular time. That's it. <laughs> okay, so the guide described us that these paintings like. These rock paintings were like done by the ancient people who used like the geometrical shapes to describe the stories from children, ladies, the kings and also of people burning the tigers. And see, it's all over the place. Okay, so you can go up from this side, but there are no stairs or something. But if you are like caught, you will be fined for 5,000 rupees by the army people here. Okay, we are tr trying to discover how Rahin was able to like write his girlfriend's name there. So Amrut, our friend, is like trying to climb this wall, rock. We have a theory that he uses a selfie stick, but Amrut is trying to disprove us by going there and trying to write. Can I you do it, bro? <laughs> <laughs> but at least you can fall from there. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> fall, bro. That will be a nice video. <laughs> Couple, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's how we did it. Amrut, yes. in the second attempt, has reached into the way. <laughs> Say like that, something. yo. Write, write some shit. Wait. Write. <laughs> Hey, no, 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 don't do that, bro. That's <laughs> not good. That's how you could, yeah. Oh, Ari, yeah, I lost that shot. Again, again. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we are going down the Hedegal Caves. So the Banasura Dam is like little far from here. So we'll try it some other day, maybe a morning. We came through the left hand side, but we have to like take the right to exit the place. And you can see the trees are getting more denser here. And you see the rocks I'm climbing down. Oh, it's like straight down. So be careful while taking the stairs. Smaller, smaller stairs. Nice view. This was the way to go inside. How was the track, guys? Like, how was the caves? <laughs> it was fun. Amrus Hall was the most fun moment. <laughs> Somebody lived 6,000 years ago. back in those caves. We have no way to prove that he said carbon dating, but we don't think so. You can't carbon date cravings. That's what we were discussing. We have reached the entrance where we started from. Okay, so that was the Adagal Caves and now we think we will be heading to the Jain Temple near Sultan Bhattiri. Uh, hope you like the caves and hopefully visit the place someday. And yeah, that was part one of the video at Wayanad and we'll be adding the part 2 next week so don't forget to subscribe my channel